Firstly, I want to pay tribute to Anastasia Palaszczuk and her remarkable legacy for Queensland. She is a Labor giant. She defeated Campbell Newman and has spent each and every day since then as Premier, rebuilding our strong economy and making Queensland a fairer and better place to live. And as the longest serving woman Premier, she has been an inspiration for women and girls in this country and I genuinely want to thank her. And it has been such a privilege to be a minister in the Palaszczuk government. We came to government, we stopped the LNP's privatisation agenda, we kept Queenslanders safe during COVID and now have the strongest economy in the nation. And for my part in my ministerial roles, I am proud to have worked on policies like free TAFE, overhauling domestic and family violence laws here in Queensland and ensuring a record health budget so that our amazing frontline health staff can do what they do best and care for Queenslanders. But clearly, we need to do more. Now is the time for renewal. And that means we may have to do some things differently. And I believe I am best placed to lead that change. And so we'll be nominating to be the next Premier of this great state. We need to do more now to really tackle the challenges that we are facing. We must make housing front and centre of our government's agenda to put roofs over Queenslanders' heads who are struggling in this housing crisis. We must have a far more inclusive and transparent approach to Olympic and Paralympic infrastructure. And that includes making sure that our regions get the infrastructure they need too. We have to do more to support Queenslanders who are struggling, struggling with the mounting pressures, cost of living pressures. We need to make sure we continue to build on our strong economy uh, for secure, decent jobs now and into the renewable energy's future. We have to listen, truly listen to victims of crime and work with the organisations that do the hard work day in, day out to break the cycle of youth crime. And we need to listen to our frontline workers in our hospitals and our schools to make sure they have the resources they need to keep doing their remarkable jobs and delivering stronger services for Queensland. Queenslanders face a really important choice at the next election. Who do they want to lead in Queensland? What kind of government do they want to see? And we must win the next election because the LNP will drag Queensland backwards. David Christofoli and Jared Blay are paused to create the same havoc they did when they were Campbell Newman ministers. Chaos and savage cuts. But in order to win the next election, we need a fresh approach. Labor MPs know me. They know my track record of bringing people together, of listening and delivering. You know, I have in every ministerial portfolio I have had fought to deliver change. I got into politics to make a difference, and that's what drives me each and every day. We need a refreshed approach, a government with fresh ideas and energy, one anchored in Labor values with robust cabinet processes. That's what the kind of government I want to show Queensland in the year ahead. I want a Queensland that promises a fairer and more optimistic future for the people of our state. Our government must also have the maturity to admit where we have fallen short. We have to listen to Queenslanders in our suburbs and our regional communities to make sure that no one falls behind. The next election is going to be tough, but I am the right person to lead us. You've obviously been speaking to your colleagues. What are fellow MPs telling you? Do you have the numbers? I wouldn't be here, Tim, if I didn't have significant support within the party. Do you have the numbers, though? Are you confident? Well, those, those conversations will continue over coming days, but I wouldn't be putting my hand up if I didn't believe I was the right person to take us to the election and I didn't have significant support why within the party. You, why are you a better option than Stephen Miles? Well, look, I have the utmost respect for Stephen Miles. We've been friends for a long time, and he and Anastasia, as leader and deputy leader, have delivered a lot for Queensland. We have very strong foundations on which to build upon. But as the Premier said yesterday, we do need renewal. Now is our time for renewal. And I believe I'm best placed to lead that renewal and change. Should you be like putting your hand up? This could create a messy 
leadership stout between you and Mr Miles? Oh, look, I, we respect each other, um, but of course we have different views on who is best placed to lead the party. Um, and I think, you know, MPs this week have a really tough decision about who is best placed to lead us to the next election and to win in the interests of Queenslanders. Are you prepared 